hello 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 for those few who stuck around and those just joining us welcome to us catch world cup 2022 i'm elux and joined with me still is jb hyperion How's hello going? hello i'm doing good thank you just had some lunch had a little bit of a stretch and ready for some more fruit catching have south korea first portugal I feel for Portugal having to go up against the uh, defending champions from last year, but I love an underdog story. I believe in them. I full faith that they're going to win this. I love my underdog stories. Yeah, I love an underdog story too, but uh, I'm also a man of statistics. And when you've got six time and defending world champions against Portugal, a team that qualified for the first time in, I think, four years this year. Uh, they've got a bit of an uphill struggle to contend with a team like South Korea. Yeah, but statistics ruins all the fun in it. Where's the suspense? Where's the surprise? It looks like Portugal may have at least won the role with a 47 to Jisan's 23. So if nothing else, they can claim that they beat South Korea at rolling. That is true, and speaking of South Korea, their first ban is going to be Nomad 1, wanting to get that consistency pick that most lower seeded teams would feel comfortable on out of the way. Yeah, very kind of strand standard, straightforward ban that we've seen a lot from the higher seeded teams against the lower seeded. Um, a kind of map that everyone should be fairly comfortable on, so taking that out of the picture removes an element of kind of coin flip that South Korea would otherwise not have to deal with. And Portugal banning Mix Mod 2 and choosing Hard Rock 1, getting straight into it with Hard Rock pick. I like it. Yeah, that's a bold choice from Portugal. I mean, there are really no kind of easy picks against a team as well-rounded as South Korea, but starting out with Hard Rock 1 is, uh, yeah, I got some respect for that. Coming out confident and coming out swinging. I respect it. Great to see lots of support for the teams in the chat. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome if this is your first time to us live and the World Cup. Feel free to ask if you have any questions and we'll do our best to answer them. And while we're waiting for players to get situated, for those of you who missed our last match, Belgium vs Poland, it was a back and forth match in the beginning, but eventually Poland started running away with it and ended up winning 5-2. And barring any substitutions, we have Rells, Yes My Darkness, and Jisan for South Korea, Nelson, Trice, and Hiroto for Portugal. seeing some Portugal support in the chat. That's why I love to see. We love our underdog stories. And here we go. First map of the match. South Korea first Portugal. Hard Rock 1. Yeah, fairly standard, um, like half jumpy uh, Hard Rock map. Not too much complexity in the way of like strong unsuspecting distances or like really difficult reading because the BPM is kind of high enough that you don't need to uh, kind of memorize anything. Nelson with an early miss in that calm section, maybe just a little bit of nerves at play there. And 
Nelson. Struggling a little bit, perhaps because of nerves, finding another miss. Five other players holding on to a full combo so far, but Trees is gonna drop right before that 200 combo mark. Same with Hiroto. Yeah, so no more full combos remaining on the side of Portugal now as we come towards the halfway point. Still three triple S's on the side of South Korea, kind of expected. Nelson with another drop, just having a rough time getting a combo going on this map, it seems. Nelson and Trees dropping once again. Hiroto, the only one on the side of Portugal above that 200 combo mark, while a triple double S on the side of South Korea still. Hiroto finally dropping a, a big combo for Team Portugal, so unfortunately this one is going to be quite a sizable uh, margin for uh, Team South Korea's victory. But still not a bad performance. Triss doing a pretty solid performance, almost uh, pushing up that 1 million point. Mark Hiroto actually getting over 100. Uh, sorry, 1 million. Really, really good. But that triple double S from South Korea, not a lot you can really do about that no matter how well you play. And again, mad respect to Portugal for choosing Hard Rock 1 against South Korea right out the gate. Yeah, to any people who are new and surprised by South Korea's performance, they are the six-time world champions for a very good reason. And uh, Portugal haven't qualified for CWC in um, quite a few years. Triss and Demigod Yoxide, two players who were in that 2018 team. Their other four players, brand new, never played in a Catch World Cup before. So yes, there are definitely going to be some elements of nerves and unfamiliarity with the pressure of a tournament setting on this scale. And South, South Korea is second seed, actually. China were the first seed to uh, who I was asking that in the chat. But it was very close. Sorry, go ahead, Elix. Oh. Speaking of South Korea, they are choosing DT3, our double time convert happy time, which Angel Kawaii coming in, Rosa and Demigod coming in for Portugal, Trees, Jisun, and Yes My Darkness all staying in from last map. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to see this one in the previous match, Poland versus Belgium. Like, double time was almost completely taken off the table. Both this and the DT2 were banned. So it'll be the first time we're seeing this uh, since maybe last night or yesterday, depending on your time zone. This is one of the shortest maps in the pool, uh, a little under one and a half minutes long, with double time having been added. Just waiting for all the players to ready up and then we'll be getting underway with game number two. Seems to be some issues currently going on in the lobby. Demigod wanting to see if they have hidden on or not. But it appears that it got straightened out. Yeah, maybe he was readied up and was trying to add the mod on afterwards, and then he needed to kind of back out and then kind of ready up again once hidden had been added. But whatever the case may be, it uh, looks like that issue is resolved, as you said. Rosa and Demigod choosing that hidden modifier to go along with double time. If you're new to catch hidden 
does not add on any extra score. It is strictly a one times multiplier. It is purely for reading for hard rock and double time. Rosa is going to be the first one to drop, followed by Demigod and Triss. No full combos left on the side for Portugal, while South Korea looking strong as ever. Yeah, no kind of major mistakes from Portugal there. They were just kind of tapping along those little stacks, uh, unevenly spaced, and got caught out a little bit. Miss from Triss and a double miss from South Korea. Both Angel Kawaii and Yes My Darkness missing on that large screen jump section. So the uh, continued double S or FC dream is uh, over after one map. Demigod Yoxide breaking once again. Jisan the only full combo remaining with that double S in the lobby right now. Triss back up to 200 combo. Demigod dropping again. Jisan still holding on to that double S. And that is going to be another point in favor of South Korea. Jisan, the only one full comboing and double Sing in the lobby. Yeah, a few small hiccups there for South Korea, but otherwise a very dominant display once again. Portugal just not quite able to keep up. Triss with a pretty solid combo, that's 330, but uh, Rosa and Demigod not quite as happy with their kind of speedier, more fluid catch control that Double Time elucidates. I guess you can say they didn't have a happy time with that map. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I'll see my way out for that. <laughs> So we've seen some hard rock, some double time. Are Portugal just going to try and test the waters in as many mods as possible? Are they going to stick towards specifics or potentially try some converts? There's plenty of options on the table for them. They were pretty confident with that hard rock pick, but now I do not blame them for thinking a little bit. I can see them definitely going no mod 2 on this. Ooh, and it is a no mod, but it's no mod 3. So yeah, Astria Nasorbe, the streamy uh, circle size 5 pick, uh, converted OS difficulty as we said. So it's going to think I'd be a little bit of a roster change around for South Korea here. Um, they have some kind of more old school players that are very well suited to convert play. So yeah, Biol coming in there. No Dre Star though. It's a little bit of a surprise. We see Hiroto coming in for Portugal. Despite South Korea being up 2-0, still seeing strong Portugal support in the chat. Love to see it. Okay, looks like Jisan has decided to uh, give Dreystar a little test appearance. See how he can flex his spinning ability for Team South Korea.
Hiroto getting caught up, uh, slightly under jumping on that first hyper dash. First 200 combo marks here on the board. Five way full combo right now with Hiroto catching up with the rest of their team. And we're gonna see a triple miss. One on Draystar for South Korea and two with Chris and Hiroto for Portugal. Yeah, Hiroto also getting caught out there by that little inverted uh, repeat slider. Um, the kind of big hyper dash into a strong direction change slider. Quite difficult, um, like a bit of a difficulty spike compared to some of the kind of slower streaming sections that come before it. So not too surprised that it caught a couple of the players out there. And Hiroto dropping again as Traystar gets back up to that 200 combo. And Triss is going to drop Rosa, the only one full comboing or any combo on the side of Portugal right now as Hiroto tries to climb back up. Still a two-way double S for South Korea. There we go, South Korea take a third point. Really good score by Rosa there to get that FC doing a great job. Kind of keeping up with the South Korean players. Just the one early-ish miss from Draystar there, but otherwise, triple double S was on the cards. Uh, Biol and Jisan not letting anything pass the plate. Not a bad performance by any means for Team Portugal, just the uh, eight misses are across their team. But... You need a little bit more consistency against the team at South Korea's level. And the score is now 3-0 in favor of South Korea. The board open to them. Still have both hidden maps still to go. Still have our Mixed Mod 1 to pick. Nomad 2, Nomad 4, and DT1 and DT2 left to go. See how they get what they go here. I'd like to see South Korea pick hidden here just so we see a bit of variety across the whole board. Um, I don't think Portugal are going to pick Mix Mod 1 given that it was uh, Mix Mod 2 that they banned earlier on. And even if South Korea win, they will still get a third pick of their own. But. Um, it's always helpful kind of for us to know who's performing well on what uh, maps and what types of uh, mod and things by seeing a little bit of everything played in the early stages. Taking a little bit of time to decide here. See someone in the chat asking, "What is mix mod?" So unlike and speaking of mix mod, we have mix mod one. Yeah, You'll get a super timing, really. stand. So mix mod is new to CWC this year. Instead of the traditional every player playing on the same mod bracket, we have one hard rock player, one hidden player, and one no mod player on each team. Yeah, so a reminder that Hidden doesn't add any score bonus relative to no mods, so there'll be two players that'll just be playing for the 1 million score. Hard Rock does have a 1.12 multiplier though, so the Hard Rock players' combo and misses will be weighted slightly more importantly in the kind of scheme of the, the pick than everyone else's. It's like free mod, but instead of everyone being able to play whatever they want, uh, each player is forced to play a different mod, so you can't have like three people all playing Hard Rock, for example. You must have one no mod player, one hidden player, and one Hard Rock player who can also optionally take hidden if they wish. We see some substitutions. Rose coming in for South Korea. 
Angel Kawhi and Beal as well with Tris Rosa staying in and Gonks coming in for Portugal. Yeah, a couple of new faces, Rels and Gonks appearing on each team. Good to try and get everyone a little bit of a stretch their fingers, get their, their catcher moving. Like, whilst the scoreline is probably going to be a convincing victory for South Korea at the end of the day, um, both of these teams will, for different reasons, want to have their eyes set on the next round of matches, which will be a lot closer. South Korea want to make sure that they are kind of well adapted to each mod um, against more challenging opponents. Portugal, uh, because it's a double elimination tournament, they won't be um, sent home if they lose today. They'll go down to the loser's bracket. And hopefully they'll end up with a much more closely competitive match next week. So they'll be looking at practicing and seeing what they're strong on and weak on so that they have a better chance of winning in a future match. And it appears they want to make things a little tricky for us, JBH. Mix in the hidden and no mod slots around. We see an early miss from Triss, but other than that, all players looking strong. But Beal, dropping early, same with Gonks. Yeah, so Beal dropping again, and like, take a screenshot now if you're a Portugal fan. Portugal are leading South Korea in the Catch World Cup. Rockma, oh, Angel Kawhi, sorry, now known, is also going to drop there. So we currently see Rels and Rosa, one FC apiece. Portugal have a very slight advantage. That's going to be eroded away right now with Triss's miss, unfortunately. Gonk's getting back up to that 200 combo mark. Same with Beal. Angel Kawhi catching up with the rest of his team as well. Rosa and Rels both still holding on to that double S, but uh, Rosa, the hidden player, whereas Rels' SS is on the hard rock slot, so that is going to be a slight score bonus. Gonk's going to drop, unfortunately, in that bottom right bracket for no mod there. But Angel Kawhi dropping for hidden as well. Biol going down, Rosa going down. Everyone struggling a little bit on this mixed mod. Only Triss and Rels now still holding a significant combo. But Rels and breaks Rose. with the hard rock. And if Tris can hold on holding. here, that's huge. Portugal are back in the lead with a third of the map still to play. What is happening? Magic is happening right now, JBH. Rosa unfortunately dropping there. And Tris has gone down. No, the lead swings back in favor of South Korea. And Gonks dropping right before that spinner. But Portugal at this break. Seeing that it's still a close match. It's only 17,000 points. A little miss. Rels drops right at the beginning. There is enough combo left that that could be a deciding factor. But unfortunately, the two 200 combos on the side of South Korea are probably going to keep extending the score lead a little bit. Rosa is going to drop in that dense stack section. Angel Kawhi dropping as well. But unfortunately for Portugal, the magic, as fast as it appeared, faded away as South Korea is going to take this match to match point. Yeah, I mean, South Korea struggled maybe a little bit, but Portugal played really well there. If I'm a Portugal player or a fan right now, I consider that a victory to kind of be leading and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with South Korea. They had a realistic chance of winning that point, and that's really cool to see. match point with Portugal's pick. I do not blame them if they want to take some time to think about this. Maybe wishing they hadn't banned uh, Mixed Mod <laughs> at this rate. They took it off the table right at the beginning, but Mixed Mod 1 was easily the closest they've come to taking a huge point off of the defending world champions. 
They're going to have to go to one of the other mod pools now. Still, two maps available in no mod, hidden, and double time, and of course the one hard rock pick available as well. Have so yet. if you're a Portugal fan, this is where you uh, kind of put in the energy for the reverse sweep. 5-4 Portugal. Are there any believers? Oh. A poor O reverse sweep would be a story. Reverse sweep would be a story to tell. And Portugal finally letting us see hidden for the first time this match. Going I like a this. long fall. I like two. this from Portugal. I think... Like, in any normal circumstance, you would be very silly to pick Hidden against South Korea. They're a fantastic Hidden team. But Triss is intelligent. He's kind of captaining the team well. He knows that it's important to play the long game, give your players experience of the map pool and, and the different mods. So I think this is done not with an air of trying to get a point off of South Korea, but to leave the team and get them the experience they need going into the next round of matches. And you already know how I feel about this song, JBH. Final Fantasy players in the chat, you know where this is from. You see, Rio, Yes My Darkness, and Draystar on the side of South Korea. Rosa, Triss, and Demigod for Portugal. Portugal wanting to get a point on the board. South Korea looking to end this match with a 5-0. So here we go then, the fifth and potentially final game of this round of 32 matchup between Portugal and South Korea. Hey, and we got some style points on the wiggle. I, I love wiggling, man. Love it. No one getting tripped up on that first hyper dash. But Demigod, right before that second Hyper Dash, is going to find a miss. And Triss is going to find a miss as well. Still a three-way double S on the side of South Korea as Demigod drops, leaving Rosa the lone full combo on the side of Portugal. And that full combo is gone as Triss and Rosa missing about the same section. South Korea holding on strong, but Biol being the first one on South Korea to miss. Yeah, just dashed away from one of those 1-1 uh, one -one dashes a little bit too quickly in the slow section. Very easy to do, even for experienced players, when you're playing with Hidden and a lower approach rate, this 8.4. Triss and Rosa getting caught out by that little spooky uh, one-half dash and hyper-dash chain there. Yokside still holding on to a respectable combo. But Draystar and Yes My Darkness, both with double S's, coming towards the end of this map, and South Korea have built up a huge lead. So this one is going to be going in the way of the defending world champions. And there you have it, everyone. South Korea winning this 5-0. But if you're Portugal, I wouldn't feel too bad about how you played. It is the defending champions, defending six-time champions in South Korea. And you almost got a point taken off of them. So I would feel, if I was them, going into next week with more confidence. Yeah, I mean, it's always a little bit of a harsh, tough to ask to ask someone hey, you haven't played in the World Cup for like nearly five years and your first match is against South Korea 
who've won CWC six times before, and I don't think I've ever really finished lower than like fifth, for example. Uh, but that's still a really, really good performance by them. They put up a strong showing, their players did generally really well overall, and as you said, Mixed Mod 1, for large portions of that map, Portugal were actually in front, and there was an honest belief that they could have taken a point there. So I consider this a really good performance for them, and hopefully they've learnt a lot going into next week's matches. Reminder that uh, this is a double elimination tournament, so since we're in the first round, Nobody who gets uh, who gets beaten today, who loses, is going to be sent home from the tournament. Everyone will get to play at least one more time in the loser's bracket if they are defeated. And here is a summary of what's happened so far. You can see on the left the matches that have taken place. Uh, Korea joining the winner's circle in the round of 32 winner's bracket against Portugal. Coming up next, we have four matches simultaneously, which is going to be whew, a bit of a nightmare for us to keep you updated on them all. Uh, they're all coming your way in about 30 minutes. Uh, Italy versus the Netherlands, Indonesia versus Malaysia, Australia, Vietnam, and Taiwan versus Turkey. So, in the next 30 minutes or so, do feel free once again to stretch, have a drink, have some food, go talk to some friends, tell them all about the World Cup, and then in half an hour to get their butts back here for some more fruit catching. And in that half an hour break, you could stop by the All Store and pick up a banner showing your support for your country who you want to see win it all it will be displayed on your profile i have yet to see the banners this year jbh how do they look they are mwah, fantastic as always flight has done a superb job i highly recommend for the price of only about two dollars fifty that you go pick one up and obviously help support your team um, but also it helps uh, reinvest back into the world cups and us as a whole making these tournaments fantastic um, and allowing us to, to do all this that we do um, and, and show it to you. So if that interests you and you've got a bit of change to spare, then obviously do show some support for your team and for the game. Uh, but otherwise, whether you buy a banner or not, you're of course incredibly welcome to hang out with us again in 30 minutes time for the upcoming block of round of 32 matches. I think Elux, you will be departing, but I might be remaining. Indeed, that is correct. I'm gonna have to get the nerves out of my system and get ready for my upcoming match. Yeah, this man is an it. experienced commentator. He's been uh, in the booth with me many times, but it is his first match as a CWC player for Team US. So everyone show some love to Elux, say thanks, and also good luck for his match against Ukraine later this evening. Most important thing is to have fun, though. Absolutely. Going I'm going to try my best and just looking to have fun. Can't wait to actually play a tournament with the boys. Yeah, win, lose, or draw. It's all about having fun and uh, showing what catch this wonderful game mode and your wonderful countries are all about. So, yeah, we'll have more of that coming up soon, as we've said. But I think we're going to take a little break here. You'll be able to listen to more tunes in the interim from our fantastic featured artists. So uh, do hang around if you don't have anything urgent to do and cat jam out with us. We'll see you all guys very soon. Thank you for watching. i